So I rented a movie from Redbox a couple days ago called The Hollow Child, and honestly, I forgot to review it. I'm not sure why, I just didn't have time. I was gonna do it after Psycho and this and that. It just didn't happen, so I don't have it here. Uh, I didn't write any notes on it. I'm just gonna go off of quick memory here to give you a yay or nay for all those people who like like to randomly red box rental like I do. Um, I thought, you know, overall, it's not a film I would exactly recommend. I definitely didn't think it was terrible by any means. I thought it was pretty good actually for um, as low budget as it was. Um, I thought that there was some decent atmosphere at times. I thought the acting, and this is probably true of most uh, low budget films, that the the acting was, was kind of all over the place. There were some performances that were um, fine. And then I thought there were some that really were really good, actually. Like um, the crazy lady in it. I thought her performance was really good. And I thought the lead actress did a pretty damn good job. And I thought her friend did a really good job as well. The little kid actress is kind of uneven. And I think that's just, you know, uh, a problem you run into with a lot of child actors. It's not their fault. It's just they're kind of, you know, kids. And uh, they're they're in their infancy a bit. They, they don't exactly know how to act yet. You get those random kid actors that are incredible and blow everyone away because they give such an amazing performance for their age. Um, but they're just so, they're super rare. Um, so you kind of just got to accept in lower budget movies that kid actors, um, the best you can hope for is decent. And I think this kid was decent. Uh, she wasn't awful. Oh my God, I've seen awful, awful actresses. Now, this is, a, this is one of those movies where kid gets lost in the woods, comes back, and, you know, they're like, wait a minute, you know, somebody, the sister is like suspicious of if her sister really came back or not, or if that is an uh, imposter. And um, I, I liked it. I, it, was, it was funny because I was enjoying the movie, and then it kind of started to get a little rocky towards the end. And then the movie ended. And I was like, oh, I kind of liked that. I mean, it was kind of cool, a little different than what I'm used to. Um, and then like one second after it ended, here's quotations again, it comes back for like one second, like one full second, no shit. And totally like cops out of the ending that they had and it just irked the fuck out of me <laughs> i know that's like a spoiler but it's so like i don't know it really irritated the shit out of me it was like the end and it was like directed by and then like came right back and just completely flipped it on its head and it just was so lame it was a typical bullshit horror movie ending that you get at the end of every one of these kinds of movies. When it ended originally with that first ending, I wish I would have just pressed stop right there. I was like, oh, okay, that's, you know, that's a little different than what I'm used to, you know. I'm not going to say exactly what, but it wasn't. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm fine with that. And then boom, it came back and I was just, I don't know, it felt like a fuck you or something. And it irritated me. So that really knocked the movie down for me, like a couple points. This is the whole reason of me even mentioning it, because that that one second double ending kind of pissed me off a little bit. It shouldn't. I shouldn't take things like this seriously, and I really don't. But I don't know why. I, I literally picked up the remote and was like, oh, fuck you. Like, it, <laughs> I don't know why I had that reaction. Um, I'm sure the director thought he was being clever or funny or whatever, but it just honestly did not work for me. Um, but, I, oh, I, it, you know, excluding that and just focusing on what we got, I think that it is a decently made, low-budget uh, horror um, demon movie, I guess is what it would be considered. Um, I didn't feel like I wasted my time, but that ending did annoy me. Outside of that, if you're into demon movies and you like uh, lower budget stuff and, and you can look past some rocky acting here and there, I'd check it out. It's, it's, it's not a bad watch. Um, I know people who like good movies would hate it, but fuck them. 
<laughs> Anyways, all right, guys.